Hi, I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, James Ryan Professor of Film Studies at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and this is Frame by Frame. And today I want to talk a little bit about film grammar, camera movement, the basic camera movements. The first basic camera movement is a pan, because cameras are usually mounted on a tripod, and a pan is simply that the camera is mounted on a tripod and pivots from a fixed, fixed point to the left or the right. And this is one of the very first camera movements that was used. Uh, in The Great Train Robbery, for example, uh, by Evan S. Porter in 1903. The other camera movements include a zoom, and a zoom is where something is optically magnified, but the camera doesn't move closer to it. But one of the most effective camera movements is a dolly, in which the camera physically moves through space towards the object or away from the object or along the side of the object, and it gives the camera a real sense of being involved in the scene. If you stand back from a scene and you simply use static setups and cut a lot around the shot, you're not going to get the same sense of involvement that you do if you use a dolly to really bring the viewer into the scene, and that's what a dolly really does, or take them out of the scene. There's also crane shots where you take the camera mounted in a cherry picker and basically just put it way up high over the uh, performers. This was pioneered first by D.W. Griffith in Intolerance. But these basic camera movements, the pan from left to right, or up or down, the zoom where the camera zooms in on an object, the dolly where the camera physically moves towards or away from it, and a crane shot which offers an omniscient perspective for the viewer. These are some of the main components of film grammar. I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon and this is Frame by Frame.